check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If this is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. We have been going over vanilla and gourmand fragrances. For today, we're going over a vanilla fragrance, primarily vanilla centered fragrance. This is from the Italian niche fragrance house called Epico. And I'm talking about Epico Vanni Charnel. If that is how you say it, because I could not find anywhere um, the pronunciation for this, Epico Vanni Charnel. <laughs> it is an eau de parfum and it was released in the year 2022. I'll give a, a slight history on what I found on, on the perfume house and then also the wear test, how it wore on my skin, if I feel like it falls, you know, what type of vanilla does it fall in line with. Um, all of my personal thoughts and opinions are coming right up. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified of two new videos. Okay, you guys. Epico Vani Charnel. I saw a whole lot of this all over the socials. I saw, oh, what, you know, gorgeous vanilla, but it's so hard to get a hold of and all of that. Come to find out, it was released in the year 2022, and this house was not a fragrance house. <laughs> this is the first line that it releases, and it released eight fragrances all in the year 2022. Eight fragrances. This is an Italian niche house that was focused on creating home fragrances of the luxury kind luxury decadent type fra home fragrances and candles room sprays if you go on their site you will still see that that is the primary focus of their site and i'll, I'll post some pictures here but yeah it's lots of uh, attention to detail and luxury is what they're what they got going on on the site so when I found the fragrances, I was like, okay, there's eight of them. Vani Charnel is one of them, and this is the one I decided I wanted to venture into because <laughs> I kept seeing it everywhere. Have had a friend also confirm that it was amazing. I was like, let's try it. Let's see what it gives me. So uh, released in the year 2022, of course, and it will set you back a lovely $180. <laughs> yeah, or so. So, um... Again, let me mention this, you guys. I want I, I love to go into the history. I love to talk to you guys about what the fragrance, how it came to be, what it says on their site, you know, what inspired it and all that. Um, but this is a little too spicy for me to get into, you guys. There is a poem. It is the taste of a night love. And there's a poem, very, very elaborate poem about what this fragrance is supposed to you know bring about the mood very very valentine day-ish type scent <laughs> i was like okay is there gonna be some lychee and some rose in here because that's what makes me think about valentine's day i have no idea why so what do we have in the top notes we have so i cannot say it that go and check out their website by the way or uh look up look up the the Steamy art little poem there on Fragrantica because yes, it's it's rather elaborate and, and nice. Uh, yeah. Top notes, we have lemon, fruity notes and candied fruit, mid notes of peach blossoms and white flowers. In the base, we have vanilla, caramel accord, benzoin and musk. Let me tell you guys, this fragrance has been compared to quite a few vanillas that I'm familiar with already. So first one being Escapade Gourmand. Second uh, that came into this mix was also Buente Lenti. And I actually own that, went very much into detail with Buente Lenti here on the channel. Love it. Oh, she's right here. <laughs> Love it. Accident a la Vani, which is this beautiful specimen right there. And then also uh, Sweet Vanilla by Montel. Uh, out of all the ones that are listed there in, in the, you know, in the comparisons that I've been seeing all over the socials, yeah, Sweet Vanilla, I would say, would be kind of close. And also Accident a la Vani, for certain. Um, so let me tell you, judging from the notes, you would think, oh, we have some lemon and fruity notes 
Um, we have some candied fruit and, uh, and also some, a little bit of floral in here. Whoa, this is going to be springtime, light and airy opening of a fragrance. And it is not. <laughs> there is no apparent fruit to me. Um, maybe a tinge of that lemon at the very beginning. Uh, just, I mean, and just like a, a you blink and you totally miss it. I do not get a light airy opening. I sure don't. I get, I don't get fruits of any sort, tell you the truth. I get uh, vanilla, the wonderful, uh, delicious vanilla, the ones that just are so captivating to me that have just been become clutch. My Vani West Indies is one of them. Uh, even Mellow Vanilla here, which is the dupe for Escapade Gourmand by Mason Mataha. Yes, um, those are beautiful vanillas. This is not like these, but it is there. Like I said, most reminiscent to me of the Montel Sweet Vanilla mixed with the accident a la vanille. that's what i'm getting um no fruits oh my gosh why are those even listed <laughs> i don't know i don't i mean okay they made fruits smell very much so like my uh like wonderful vanilla this blends into uh the heart of the wear it blends into these yummy uh coconut cookies like yes like those are they, what are they, are they called Madelines? No, um, I'll put them up here, but they're butter cookies. I guess you could say that's it, just buttered cookies and they're in, in an interesting shape. Um, I, I used to have coconut butter cookies, I think you call them, I, I'm not sure, but oh, I'll put them here. They're so good. That's where this leads my nose to. Um, yeah, very, very close in, in proximity to this fragrance, the way that, that it has that coconut and the vanilla and the dessert, you know, cookie type vibe. So goodness, that it's good <laughs> to me. It smells so, so good. Um, it's got a beautiful caramel vanilla dry down as well that just lasts. Is it as strong and fill up a room projecting as my personal favorite Vani West Indies? No, I didn't get that type of strength but then again i had a tiny sample i almost feel like it was just a matter of i didn't spray enough for that type of you know reaction <laughs> to happen um so i wouldn't say that it stays really really close to the skin i do feel like it has a bit of projection um but it's it's not as at all as much as as others um, even the Escapé Gourmand is, is a bit strong and, and gives a nice siage when you walk by. And oh man, the compliments that I have gotten from Escapé Gourmand and the Mellow Vanilla, they're very detectable when you walk by people's. They're like, what is that? It smells like vanilla. It smells like cookies. Like, oh yes. <laughs> and of course the Bunny West Indies. Now this one... I also, I'm saying, I think it was just a matter of the sprays. I did not spray on enough. Um, I think if I were to spray the way that I want, would want to spray, because this is a tiny sample, I think it could give me that. If you've tried by Nisha now, by Epico, let me know if you have gotten a, that type of, of um, you know, reaction. It, I mean, it lasted the 12 hours, the, the little amount of sprays that I was able to give myself. So I'm not sure. Honestly, I wish that I could, I could have sprayed some more on myself so that it would just go. Um, so it's just arm's length, I think, for me right now as it stands, you know, what I got out of the sample. Um, but it might be, it might be one of those that, that does fill up a room. It could be. Uh, but it is definitely vanilla bliss. In conclusion, this is this is solid. It is a solid option if you are looking for a higher priced, you know, price your niche fragrance of the vanilla variety. I do recommend this. Oh gosh, I do. It is one of those. Huh. So definite mix between because of those coconut cookies. I get this scent here from Accident Alavani, but this one is a slightly different, you know. Yeah, so that that's all I had to say about uh, Epico's Manisha. Now it's a uh, really interesting to me how 
it can be the same but different it's just even you know if it's a millimeter of a difference i'm interested in adding it to the collection because vanilla is the only exception or one of the only exceptions to redundancy here in my collection <laughs> so nice yeah this is a candidate for a full bottle oh i loved it but i love vanilla i really do we do still have a couple of more you know pricey vanillas here to try out so i'll wait i'll wait on any purchases until we get through them all and then of course we will round it out i'll give you guys my thoughts like which ones i really truly feel are are full bottle worthy um so but as far as vanilla is concerned and enjoyability this was up there and i would definitely i would even layer it with the accident a la vanille oh yes i would <laughs> so good you guys um really truly enjoyed that um would i layer it yeah but i also feel uh when it's this type of vanilla i like to enjoy it to the fullest you, you know i i'll add some fruits to it maybe just to accentuate but that's about it i don't like to go adding too many different perfumes to uh, beautiful beautifully structured vanillas like these and this is in that category <laughs> i was like yes this is good this is good so i don't have any layering what i said all that just to say that i really don't have any layering suggestions today we had plenty yesterday with Bontalenti. <laughs> okay um yeah that was it for today you guys uh speaking of vani um what is it called accident a la vanille i do have a sample of the madeline de proust um variation of this fragrance so i want to see what that gives it is said to have some peach and some apricot in there and i'm just thinking oh, could could you make this fragrance any better i mean it's so enjoyable and uh long lasting and just wonderful so we'll check that out you guys on the channel so tomorrow's gonna be a little bit not just straight up vanilla it's supposed to be a gourmand vanilla but then again that's what i thought about vani charnel i was like oh this is not going to be straight up vanilla this has some fruits you know it's got some layers it's even got a little floral in there i detect none of that <laughs> none of that this smells like straight up vanilla okay that was it, you guys. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, I would. I'm really interested to know if you get some projection out of Vani Charnel, or if it's just a personal scent bubble enjoyment, which is which I don't mind at all because it was really good. <laughs>